just something to admire Cause you shine at something like a mirror and I can't help it Hiya! Welcome back to the channel. Right, well, today I'm doing something small. If you look at this, I don't know if you can see yourself in that mirror there. But if you look at that, you can see that around the border, the mirror is a shitter. All the way around. So this video is going to be focusing on that. And it's going to be repairing that. So first, before I can do anything with this, I'm going to have to take the mirror off, which possibly sounds easier than what it is. Um, you should be able to just, I don't know if you can see, just one second. I don't know if you can see anything there. There's like a metal, there's like a metal doings and that's like a, a hook which goes over it. So to remove that mirror, you should just pull it towards you. I should have done this. Yes. That was easier than I thought it was gonna be. So now I've removed the mirror, as you can see now, that's how it goes on, look. Fucking lights so up, it's not working. Not focusing very well, is it? But that fits into that slot, which makes it nice and easy. So the mirror is removed, and now all I've gotta do is go and repair it. Now we've got the mirror removed from the vehicle, we can clearly see that the issue is with yeah, the glass around itself. The man in the mirror. So how can I repair that? Well, first, I think I'm gonna have to uh, get a tripod, you know, kindly donated by Craig at BHR Coaches. And um, see how good it is in, in wind, because this is actually the start of Storm Eunice. So let's see if this works. And now I shall try and carefully remove this glass. So, if we get to the other side of it, we can see that through there, there is a bit of a gap. So if we're nice and careful, we can uh, watch for sort of cutting your fingers off or anything during this process. But we can get nice and gently around the outside of that. Then we can, uh, yes, yes. Yes, it's not looking pretty good either. I knocked it off or the wind knocked it off, but um, it's going well as you can see. Let's proceed the, uh, as required. Yes, try again. I still need to recover this flap out of this mirror. As you can see, it's going perfectly. Completely to plan. So as you can see now, we're halfway there. Three quarters. Sick. Right, so now we've got our mirror, our glass out, and now we need to remake this into a mirror again. Right, so the first step is this stuff. Now this is spray paint, it's high heat, uh, silver spray paint and it's got to be this specific brand this specific tin otherwise it will not actually work but I'll give this a coat nice and uh, dusted on nice and thick don't worry about it runs it doesn't really matter body shop level of skills right it's got enough paint on it make sure it's got enough that's all that matters right, so then we'll wait for that to dry for at least three minutes so when it's dried as much as it needs to dry this is the next step so we've got a box here a cardboard box put it into the cardboard box facing upwards and then we uh mr sheen nice polish to make things shiny get a bit of mr sheen there you see nice coating of mr sheen Get all the nuts and crannies 
got to be all over it this otherwise it won't work once again it's got to be this particular brand of mr sheen this specific one i'll give you a nice shot of it there you go see wood glass metal and plastic all bases covered all right so now it's covered with that so they close the box carefully and then and then you've got a drop kick the fucker and that gives it a very specific amount of agitation required to uh mix it up yes look at that that i couldn't have asked that to work any better so as you can see everything's blowing all over the place but as you can see now the mirror is like a new one so let's go and refit it to the vehicle so as you can see we are back in the slightly drier climate of the inside of a citroen c1 and uh it's time to put the mirror back on but before i do i'll just show you how this goes so you've got a little metal shitter stuck to the window which will be bonded on so if that comes off you'll need some glue to put it back on um there is special glue for that but for now ours hasn't so i need to put this back on now this goes on from forwards so if you look at the way this is that is going to slide that way and then it's going to be upside down so make sure you turn it to the correct sexual orientation for yourself to make sure it's going to work properly and then you just push it back on which is just a case of sliding oh, it's a bit of a tight fit this now it must have changed when i've um put the paint on or something but that's as far as it seems to be going on i don't want to push it any harder because i think i'll break it but it's not going anywhere so now we have look at that sick that is a new sorry repaired mirror fitted to a citroen c1 an igo or a 107 various other cars same same deal same way to do it in fact i'm going to list this to change the mirror on on just a car and then put um citroen c1 or igo or city bug in the description or something i think i'm not sure not sure but that is how you do it uh, as you can see the quality is outstanding that's not yes wow that's a bit of a shitter actually uh, but yeah it's done so anyway don't forget to check out the other videos comment all that kind of shit and uh i'll see you next time